<laughs> so, more golf packages to unbox for you today. Um, I'm having fun with this. I <laughs> am ordering more things than I need. Uh, this is the box, so that doesn't show you too much. However, I have it already unboxed because I got it last night. It is a range finder. So the cool thing about this little guy, magnetic on one side, and then of course the Go 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 Sport V Pro on the other side. Look at this. Dude, am I a pirate? Maybe. I'm trying to get them pars, trying to get them birdies. That's what I'm trying to do. Um, look, man, the thing I love about this guy is it will tell me how far away the hole is, which is very advantageous for a noob like myself because say one of my irons, I know I can hit it X amount of yards. Well, it will tell me, hey, you're that far away from the hole right now. Maybe you should use that club so I don't have to guess. Um, now, of course, as I get better, I will perhaps be able to gauge and just know with my eyeballs, but I'm not there yet, so I have a range finder. Now, when it comes to knowing how far your clubs actually carry the ball, how are you gonna do that? I mean, sure, you could go to the range and hit 50 balls and guess, but I don't like guessing. I like playing by the numbers. So, I got this nifty little tool. It's the Rapsodo Mobile Launch Monitor. And this thing is awesome. So, I'm just gonna read some features. Video playback, shot tracer, GPS shot map, smart club recognition, club gapping and shot library. On the other side, the measurements that it takes. This is the real good stuff for me. Distance, ball speed, club speed, smash factor. I don't even know what that is, but it sounds cool. <laughs> launch angle and launch direction. That is really why I bought this thing because I wanna be able to hit the golf balls into my practice net and have this radar system tell me how far that ball would have traveled. So I can hit 50 balls with this device turned on and it will give me a great average. So when I'm out on the course, I can use my range finder and know again, oh, it's 140 yards away. This is the club I should be using because I've done my practice with this club and I know when I strike the ball properly with this club, how far it goes. So these two things, it's funny, they're actually in a very similar uh, packaging. Um, I think just work hand in hand together, especially uh, for a beginner. Uh, I haven't used them yet. However, from reviews, I just truly think these things work so well together. Again, a range finder to tell me how far away from the hole I am, and this Rap Soto mobile launch monitor, which is gonna tell me how far I'm actually hitting the ball. So, when it's time to be on the course, I know exactly what club to use. So, sometimes when you hit your ball, it will create a divot in the green, or perhaps someone has lofted one in, and where you're actually putting on that green, uh, the ball left a divot. So, when you're trying to putt, Someone else who played before you left a divot. This little handy dandy tool is going to help fix the divot in the green. <laughs> By the way, you don't need any of this stuff to start playing. I'm just me and very extra. I wanna cover all my bases. So I, I got this very fancy one um, that has a bunch of different things and it also has a magnetic ball marker that will go right there. I mean, this is a quality. This is quality. So again, it's like a five in one tool. Um, right here, you can see these little grooves. They actually clean the grooves in your, uh, the face of your golf club head. There's a little brush right here. Um, maybe there's a, a can opener. This is the divot tool. You stick it in the ground and you pull towards the divot and it corrects it. But that is really, really nice looking. Cool ball marker with, of course, an H on it. And the best part about this is it's magnetized. So we have it right here and it just hangs out in there. When you need to have your ball marker, you just pull it out Boom. And now you've marked your ball. To uh, avoid getting super horrible tan lines, I will do my best and be mindful. I got this three pack of men's mesh quarter zip active shirts. Um, they're just these lovely pullovers. And as a matter of fact, I'll throw one on for you quickly. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. 
Oh, dude, why do I love this? Very important that you have a belt as a golfer. So, bought this three pack. 50 foam golf balls. If you have 50 foam golf balls, something to put your golf balls in. Hunter, you thought of everything. Yes, I know. Dude, I think I'm living my best life right now. But maybe the deeper lesson is it's so important to find things in life that uh, mean a lot to you. And you know, some of these things today at least weren't that expensive. I think this little divot tool was maybe 10 bucks or something. Um, this, I, I don't know, it wasn't that much money, but I love it. It means a lot to me. And uh, I look forward to using it. You know, I think in life we buy things uh, and they need to be tools that allow us to better do the task that we are trying to do. Whatever that task may be, you have to define it. But the things you purchase and invest in should bring you closer to better fulfilling uh, what you're trying to accomplish. So I know these hauls could look like I'm just spending a lot of money on things that maybe seem a bit extra or like I don't need. But when you are trying to maximize your efficiency, I think it's very important that you do invest in tools, perhaps. Or maybe training is what you need. If you're into physical and mental training, you want an edge, as you guys know, Cloud is training. Subscribe on Instagram, it's linked below. If you want more mindset type stuff that will really just make you a weapon and unshakable, and then that's found on Cloudus Club, also linked below. Um, seamless tie-in. It's almost as if uh, training yourself physically and mentally works in every scenario and situation. Kind of does. Anyway, find the lessons in all these videos. There's so much more than just me getting some golf things. Find the root. Find what I'm really doing. Um, if I could define what I'm doing, I think it's pushing myself to learn something new and master it and investing in tools that allow me to do so at a faster rate than those around me. Because if I want to be undeniably exceptional, I can abide by the rules of the average. So I have to push myself. I have to give myself an edge. I think you guys are seeing me in every way possible try and do that. I love you guys so much. As always, thank you for watching. Truly means the world to me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.